Ever wondered how organic electrochemical transistors work? Let's journey into the fascinating realm of organic electrochemical transistors, commonly known as OECTs. This new breed of transistor is crafted from organic superconducting materials, a unique choice that lends them some intriguing capabilities. Picture this, a tiny device that can alter the flow of electrical current in response to minimal changes in voltage applied to its gate electrode. But that's not all. The real charm of these transistors is their ability to control not just electronic currents, but ionic currents as well. Yes, you heard that right. They're master manipulators of both. It's like having a symphony conductor and an orchestra rolled into one, working in perfect harmony to create a beautiful technological symphony. As we delve deeper, you'll discover that these aren't just any transistors. No, my friends, these are not your average transistors. Why should we care about organic electrochemical transistors, you ask? Let's delve into the many advantages that these devices bring to the table. Firstly, organic electrochemical transistors, or OECTs, exhibit promising amplification and sensing capabilities. This means they can significantly boost the strength of electrical signals and are highly sensitive to changes in their environment, making them ideal for applications where precision is key. Next, they are champions of energy efficiency. OECTs are known for their low power consumption, a game changer in our increasingly energy conscious world. This characteristic not only makes OECTs environmentally friendly, but also extends the battery life of devices they're implemented in. Coupled with this, OECTs require low driving voltages. In simpler terms, they can operate effectively with less power. This makes them a practical choice for portable devices, where minimizing power use is essential. But that's not all. One of the most striking advantages of OECTs is their versatile structure. Unlike traditional transistors, OECTs are based on organic materials, allowing for flexibility in their design. This opens up a world of possibilities from bendable electronics to wearable devices and even implants. In essence, Organic electrochemical transistors bring together the best of many worlds, high performance, energy efficiency, low voltage requirements, and structural versatility. These benefits make organic electrochemical transistors a prime candidate for future electronic devices. Now let's explore where we can actually use these organic electrochemical transistors. Organic electrochemical transistors, or OECTs, have a wide range of potential applications that could revolutionize various fields. Their unique properties make them ideally suited for several innovative technologies. First, let's look at biosensors. These are analytical devices that convert a biological response into an electrical signal. OECTs can be used to create highly sensitive biosensors due to their amplification and sensing capabilities. They can detect minute changes in biological systems, making them invaluable in medical diagnostics and environmental monitoring. Next, we have wearable devices. The flexibility of OECTs makes them a perfect fit for this application. Imagine a fitness tracker that not only monitors your heart rate, but also your hydration levels or blood glucose. This would provide a comprehensive overview of your health in real time. Finally, there's neuromorphic systems. These are systems designed to mimic the human brain's structure and function, OECTs, with their ability to control both electronic and ionic currents, could play a crucial role in the development of these systems. They could help create more efficient and powerful artificial intelligence systems, bringing us one step closer to truly intelligent machines. So whether it's creating more accurate biosensors, revolutionizing wearable tech, or advancing artificial intelligence, OECTs have a significant role to play. Their versatility and unique properties open up a world of possibilities in electronics. The possibilities with organic electrochemical transistors are truly endless. Before we go any further, it's essential to understand what a transistor is. In the simplest terms, a transistor is a semiconductor device engineered to amplify, control and generate electrical signals. You can think of it as the active component in integrated circuits or microchips. These shiny surfaces often contain billions of these tiny devices etched into them. Now, transistors have three terminals. First up, we have the base. This is used to activate the transistor. 
It's kind of like a switch controlling whether the transistor is on or off. Next, we have the collector. This is the positive lead of the transistor and is where the current flows in. Finally, we have the emitter. This is the negative lead of the transistor and is where the current flows out. Together, these three components work in harmony to control the flow of electricity. The base controls the flow, while the collector and emitter act as the entry and exit points for the electrical current. In essence, a transistor regulates the flow of electricity, much like a tap controls the flow of water. It's a simple device, but its ability to control and amplify electrical signals forms the backbone of modern electronics, so that's your basic transistor. Understanding this fundamental building block sets the stage for our next discussion on the types of transistors. So stay tuned! Did you know there are different types of transistors? Indeed, there are two main types that we'll explore today. The bipolar junction transistor and the field effect transistor. Let's dive into the bipolar junction transistor first. This type of transistor is one of the most common. It's like a sandwich, combining three layers into one to amplify an electrical signal. In terms of current flow, it's a party of two. Electrons and holes both get an invite. The bipolar junction transistor can be either NPN or PNP, but don't let the acronyms intimidate you. They're just different configurations that determine how current flows through the transistor. Now let's shift gears to the field effect transistor. This three-terminal semiconductor device operates based on a controlled input voltage. Imagine a conductor wielding a baton, directing an orchestra of electric current. That's the field effect transistor for you. It uses an electric field to control the electrical current in a semiconductor. Interestingly, they're also known as unipolar transistors, since they involve single carrier type operations. In the grand scheme of things, understanding these transistor types allows us to appreciate the unique capabilities of other transistors, like the organic electrochemical transistor we've been discussing. With this knowledge, you can better appreciate the uniqueness of organic electrochemical transistors. Now isn't that a conversation starter?